G'day, knuckleheads, Uncle Knackers here, and welcome to episode 34 of my Owner Builder series. And in this video, we're going to look at doing some wall tiling. So those tiles are going like that, all the way up to that ceiling. Beautiful. So how can we do the tile and not the wall? Makes a mess if you do the wall. No? It really does. Because does that vary from tile to tile? Yeah, a lot of tiles just do the wall quicker. Yep. But it makes a mess. I know exactly how much glue I need. Like I can put extra glue on. Yep. On each tile if I know. Get the feel of it. Yep. My bulb boss used to do it. I don't like doing it because as you're doing it, it just drips all over the floor. Yeah, so it's much messier. But I dare say if you're just kicking off, mm -hmm. it's probably best to do the wall, isn't it? Because that's a bit of an art doing the tile. No, you'd be surprised. Yeah. It's a lot easier doing the tile. Right, okay. It's all about the angle of the trowel. And what's the angle of the trowel? And the angle of the tile. Can you watch my work? You right. You don't have it flat. Hold it upright. Yeah. Your gravity holds it from falling off everywhere. See, so it's got a lot further to travel. Yeah. Whereas if so, you do this, when it gets to the end, it gets all over you. Oh, okay. Look away. Look like that. Yeah. Check that changes the bigger the tile. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. So you place it in the wall, just squeeze it in gently. Well, some of them aren't gentle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Depending if there's a bump in the wall. So you got spaces. Yeah. Do you have spaces there on the vertical as well? No, they change. Change as in what? In and out. Right. Tiles, tiles are only really to square one way. Right. Oh, you know. I do the these joints by eye. I don't do them as deep, like that's a lot wider yep. than that, usually. Yep. Because your vertical joints are the ones you see, so I like having them nice and tight because it looks neat. Yep. So you're still using that 15? No. No. This one's a, it's either a 10 or an 8. Because your eight, walls yeah. are usually a lot straighter than your floors. Alright. And the extra glue of the 15mm on the floor gives you more strength. Yeah. In the long run. Okay. And again, these tiles are a ceramic tile, they're not porcelain. Yep, and they are rectified edge, so yep. it takes a little bit more care. Yep. To get them right. That one's extra dirty. So just to clarify. Because people get a bit confused about rectified and non-rectified. Yes. Give me the Justin Skinner version of a rectified edge. A rectified edge is basically a square edge, a sharp edge. Sharp edge. Yeah, yeah. sharp edge. And a soft edge. If you start an off soft edge, it's more easier. Yeah. yeah. A bit more forgiving a soft edge tile. Yes. They're you can run your one. hand over it and it'll feel good. Yeah. But they never look as neat. No. They look a bit old fashioned. Yeah. But these new ceramic tiles do come with a rectified edge. So that's good. Makes drilling holes for your towel rails so much easier. Can you do a video on that? Yeah. Look at this towering wall. Look at it. And the tile wall. Big behemoth. This towering wall of muscle in front of you. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> what, what a machine. Now I think I'll leave the big fella alone and let him get on with his wall tiling. And we'll come back in the next video where we'll do a quick tutorial on how to grout those tiles. 
And if you've noticed some background noise while the tiling's been going on, it's because of these guys putting down the floor. And we'll get to that video shortly. So I hope you enjoyed and found that episode useful. And as per usual, a big thumbs up is greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button for more handy tips. All right, till next time, I'm out of here. Cheers.